I do, is uh, is there a chance that if a person has high vitamin D status and they can produce too much calcium and get kidney stones? Nope. If they are actually eating a species appropriate diet, um, that's not going to happen because you've got basically from the meat, you'll get taurine and taurine regulates the electrolytes, including calcium. So it doesn't actually allow calcium to accumulate. It actually regulates it pretty well with taurine. Then you've got MK4, which will rip it from the bloodstream and the excess and move it into the bones and take it also from soft tissue. So no. So if you've got a high status, it's fine. You're not going to get any problems. The problem is when you basically have very low retinol, very low MK4, you're on a species inappropriate diet, you don't have very much and you're just supplementing. That means you're on a sad diet. So you don't have the regulatory effect on the fluids of taurine that comes from meat. You don't have the fat soluble vitamins to balance things out to also to um, transcript vitamin D and retinol transcript a number of, en of enzymes. So these proteins that are generated by the body that need to be activated by MK4, like the osteocalcin ones, or they need both vitamin D and vitamin A for that purpose. And so when you're on a species-appropriate diet, you will regulate, and then those proteins then activated by MK4 because it's in the food, the animal food, it will take that calcium because it's got a big, nice, big double hook, and it will actually grab that calcium and move it to the bone. And also, you've got phosphorus. Remember, meat has phosphorus and has quite a bit of it. Remember the stuff that I showed? The more, you know, that, that I've just, I did show once in one of my live streams, but I, I, th I think I still need to do that one, don't I? Or ha have I done it? No, anyway, I think I've shown it in a live stream, but I haven't actually done this to show the three things that you need you know the calcium sorry the 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 key ones are protein salt and phosphorus what do we find most phosphorus in meat um protein in animal foods primarily high quality and salt and the three if you remove any one of those three or all three you reduce bone density. And that was that clinical study where they had them in a clinic, intravenously putting that stuff in and removing amounts of different ones. And that is mechanistic. That is replicatable mechanistic. That is gold-plated. Because that I can do on myself. I can do on any human on this planet. And that is mechanistic proof that you need salt, um, phosphorus, and everybody demonizes phosphorus because it's in meat animal products. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna basically remove all the calcium out of your bones. You know, you know, too much phosphorus. You know, you hear that bullshit. It's the actual opposite. They've completely got the biochemistry and physiology wrong. You know, again, reductionist nonsense. That's why. And it's all these petri dish um, experiments that they did in the past that got completely fucking wrong. And the the other part is um, you know protein, and so. Yeah, so don't, don't have to worry. If you're on a species-appropriate diet, you're eating, your body will regulate all these things appropriately. So do not worry um, too much about that. And when we're talking about calcium, I'm not. when we're talking about vitamin D, I'm talking about people supplementing 10,000 IUs, not hundreds and hundreds of thousands. You have to supplement hundreds and hundreds of thousands of IUs every single day for months for something like that to happen, um, Devox. So it's never going to be a problem on our diet. And not only that, guess what the body also does? When you don't overload it with a lot of stuff, the body, when it comes to minerals, um, a lot of things that a lot of people don't realize, guess what the body does? It regulates the mineral, the amount of minerals in your body and it uses bile to excrete them. Yes. Who would have known the bile out of your um, gallbladder is the stuff that actually binds min excess minerals and excretes them? That's part of it. Remember, I, I think I've even shown the magnesium part. Remember, you get about 20 milligrams you get out of your feces 
and through your urine, you get about 100, the 120 um, roundabout. And you can actually excrete even more than that. That is just the general excretion. You can actually do even more depending on what load you put in. So I, this is how funny it is. You see these people taking 300, 400, 500 um, uh, milligrams of uh, um, uh, magnesium, and most of it is being excreted or pissed out. And I'm going, that is funny as. Because the body uh, in its normal physiological state from food excretes about 120, and we usually get far more in that regard and we use it for biological processes and when you don't use it remember carbohydrate metabolism uses more so when you're not on a carbohydrate metabolism you end up excreting more through the bile than that that level 120 is based on somebody who's on a on a sad diet on a general diet and many years ago whatever the diet was many years ago which combined both animal foods and some plants you know in the 50s 60s and though that period but generally speaking, if you're on a carnivore diet, you're actually even using, utilizing less magnesium, less thiamine, less a lot of these um, um, cofactors. Why? Because your body doesn't need as many to run a whole lot of enzymatic processes. There are far more enzymatic processes involved in, you know, oxidizing sugar. And that's the difference. That's why you need more. Um, and that's pretty much the sort of difference and your body will excrete that excess as long as your liver is functional and as long as your bot as your gallbladder is functional and not deranged or that you can actually manage all that properly it's when we derange the systems that's when we i'm going okay we need to emulsify with taurine um the, you know that we need to basically get in the you know allopoic acid to repair some of this stuff so it works properly we need to do that that's when i start suggesting all these things when you come to me in a deranged way because you've done damage on an inappropriate diet in the past. And most of us have, including me. So, yes, that is the, the actual story, the way it goes.